I really wish I bred him so we could just make more of this. You little shit! Oh, how fast they turn on you! Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here back with more Ark Monster Hunter. It looks like I'm just on a regular foundation in the sky, right? So the untrained eye, that's literally what we're doing. This isn't that amazing. Until you look over at my freaking water slide, which I've been working on for a while. Y ignore that little loop-de-poop, all right? It just gives you more of a downwards thrust, I'm imagining. Look at this, though. Right into the ocean. This water slide is even freaking taller than my roller coaster, which was insanely huge. Like, we are so freaking high up right now. It is a stupid chibi. We oh my god. Oh my god. He's just working hard to block my visuals. As you can see though, we're very- this is a very impressive water slide. I hope everyone's enjoying this series a bunch. I'm trying to make it especially more awesome. Aside from like the extra 100 modded creatures and corruption and monster hunter stuff that I risk going to prison to put in here, I'd also like to slowly turn this place into a theme park because that just seems like a fantastic idea. Like who, who the hell doesn't want roller coasters? When do you guys see what I have planned for the beginning of the next video? It's from Jurassic Park and it's gonna blow everyone's socks off. Look how high up that thing is though. It's pretty impressive, right? Oh shit, before I forget. Oh also, thank you so much everyone who's been showing to my streams this week. We just about streamed the entirety of Iceborne, or the entirety. It, it's been awesome. We have like two monsters left. I might finish that off tomorrow. See, it reminded me, because speaking of Iceborne, speaking of Monster Hunter, we still haven't figured out what to feed these things. And we're, it's getting to the point where we really need suggestions. The main suggestions left were Sulfur. Now yesterday when we were rampaging on the freaking magic school bus over here, he picks them up and I put it in his, I put it in a Harper's inventory hoping that it would affect it. The dude hasn't even eaten sulfur, so now we're literally down to every single resource in the world, except for Dodogama snacks, which they seem to still love. Thank, thank God we have snacks. When the time comes and Genesis drops, aside from all the awesome videos I'll be posting, anyone who's down to help me take over Twitch, I will love you forever. Just basically, the more people that show up, the higher number will be, and then it will just take over the world. And then we march on the state capitals. All right, get ready. I've talked enough. It's just I'm drinking so much G fuel this morning constructing the slide. I have so many words. Oh, the chibi gets to go too. Oh my god, this is just amazing. how has that guy been here for like a full day? That that fish creature. This is amazing. Then you get a little loop de loop jump and right into the freaky wire. <laughs> And our GB2. And this is basically how I spent my entire night right here. I'm not proud of it, alright, but wait till you, I, I'm pretty freaking proud of it actually. I don't know what I'm saying. Wait till you guys see what's gonna be next though. It's gonna take like three, four times longer to construct, but it is going to be the coolest shit on the planet. Look at this, the, the theme park is really coming together. Unfortunately, since I spent all night kind of taming, or not taming, making that water slide, I was unable to tame more creatures for the charity thing, which is downright foolish. I may have put too many things on my plates. What I'm gonna be doing instead is just streaming for about four hours tomorrow, just literally taming creatures for the charity thing, because we have over like 40 donators now, and I kind of really want to have a creature named after all of them by next episode. So the only way to do that is to stream this series on Twitch, but don't worry, we won't be advancing in any way, shape, or form. You won't miss anything important if you can't show up to the stream. Just literally adorable little lovely creatures around base like this. If you guys haven't noticed, Crisco is unable to join us for today's episode. It is very disappointing, but that's just the way it goes. The man has his own life. Hopefully, he'll be here for the next one. I was really sad to find out he wasn't going to be here today just because I was very excited to show off my freaking water slide for an audience, really. Anyone who. Because, you know, you're so, you show someone and they're like, whoa, dude, what is that? It's a water slide? And you're like, yeah, bro. I was really looking forward to that little back and forth, like, little doodly conversation. Just gonna put this here for Dodo Gama because that, I'm gonna call this Island B, because, uh, Island BN. That's I, I've, I've, and now I'm just accessing the inventory. I'm slowly but surely ruining everything. Hey, man, how do you? How do you? Can you? Can you? There we go. Odegaran, the poor fella, doesn't have swim animations, all right? He can't swim. We still love him dearly. You don't have to be able to swim to earn our respect, all right? That's just not the kind of people we are. Actually, hang on a second. Where the hell is my? No, there's my teleporter. Oh, okay, or my remote. Actually, one thing I should probably show you guys now, it was, it was, it was a tweet, this all started with a tweet yesterday where I was reminded how it's been like four years and we never really got an answer as to why the hell there's like serious dinosaur sex animations in the ARC dev kit. It all stems back from that video I posted where we showcased it all, but it's, it's like a lot of people on Twitter didn't believe that that was actually a thing because they weren't here years ago when I posted that, but it was. There was actual legit hardcore dinosaur sex animations in the dev kits, meaning that the developers made it and put it there. 
As you can see, I was experimenting with introducing these, these sex statues into my theme park, but we've kind of put them over in the corner, in the blasphemy corner. I don't really want to get any closer because I will scar many of you. Like, it, it will make you feel nauseous, the fact that you see it, it's weird that this was ever even a thing. We still, to this day, have no answer. Even Syntac admitted that's how he discovered my channel, and he thought I was weird as shit because I was into this. I wasn't into it. We were just shocked we found it. It had a show. We were... We were looking through the dev kit one day, and we're like, no shit, there's dinosaurs having sex in here. Are you kidding me? I was considering putting them in my theme park. I thought it would have been hilarious. Unfortunately, this mod is very freaking weird. When you walk up to them, they start playing music and, and try like, It just turns into a freaking orgy over there. You got your dodos on each other. The spinos get very freaking... I can honestly almost handle the raptors. The dodos are funny. I can handle the raptors. The rex and the spinos, the love making is just like straight up like so freaking ridiculous. And the fact that developers actually made that, uh, animated it, rigged it, and put it in the game it's just like, dude, it is insanely hilarious to me and forever will be. How the shit that got passed? Like, animations are so expensive to, like, oh my god, the amount of money I paid animators just for the simplest little things. It definitely cost freaking Wildcard a lot of money to add all those crazy dinosaur sex animations. It just blows my mind forever. It will ever, ever blow my mind. But yeah, don't worry, you won't be seeing any more dinosaurs humping around here. Like that that actually hurt my channel a shit ton back in the day. How is this thing bigger than me? First thing we're doing is taking the other carrot out, obviously. Shoot. We should probably actually freaking take out the turtle for the time being. Because honestly, the turtle is just such an incre incredible creature in every way. But so is Oda Garrett, damn it. I mean, Odo Garen's actually a pretty big beefcake. We got a little bit of lag ahead, but every time I come over here for like the first time of the day, it's always funky. Like you. If you came out of their little shadow fall hive, are you one of the ones that get triggered by people, or do you require another shadow fall creature to be in the vicinity of you? I think we're safe. Without Crisco here screaming at the top of his lungs whenever I go near one of those things, it's, it's confusing to know when we're in legit danger, but we seem, seem to be fine. This place is pretty freaking spectacular now that there's no more, um, and there's no more, like, thousands of Santa gotchas rapidly spawning all around here. It is unfortunate we gotta get chibis the old fa- or not the old-fashioned way, the modern way now, though. But I, I am loving having all these text I don't even really have any usage for all this crap at this point. But the element dust is, like, the most necessary thing in the world for making Monster Hunter kibble. So it, it's good to have fields of text egos. I think this might be our strongest creature. I actually don't know what's stronger, Odegaren or the freaking turtle. I'm, I'm loving this thing so much right now. On my stream last night, I fought e Ebony Odegaren, which is just, it was beautiful. Like, obviously, I whooped its ass, but I mean, the creature itself was pretty freaking fantastic. It's gorgeous. Ooh, shit. Oh, man, I have the biggest sneeze charged up right now. Oh, God, hold it in for all your strength, Johnny. That's a freaking, oh my god, a level 330 bunny. But only has 8,000 health right now, but I swear to god that thing is incredible. They're one of the most powerful creatures on my freaking PvP server. Kieran has two giant ones guarding the entrance to our gates. Are you just beast, you big dumb idiot? Oh, me, it's so much experience points off you right now, you big dumb beach sexy bastard. Assuming you actually die at some point. These things are freaking titans of the ocean. Look, it's gnashed. Our bite does a lot of stuff. These things are humongous! Nothing should be this freaking big! Odegaren is big. And I'm just barely- Oh no, skin's sad. Just ignore the sounds of pain, the background little oceanic whimpers. This is why I could never own a snake or something like that. I love animals way too much. I'm just the kind of sissy who would be like sad about feeding mice to it. If I ever own a reptile, I mean another one. I've owned millions of lizards. If I ever own it'd be another lizard. It'd be a rhino ah! It'd be a rhino iguana. Cause they oh look at the gnash just bleed out, bitch. <laughs> rhino iguanas just eat fruits and veggies. I can totally handle some little soy boy. Uh, but they look like dinosaurs too. It's not just the it's not just the fruits and veggies part. Rhino iguanas actually look batshit insane to me. Okay, so if we're gonna tame this thing, which we should, trust me, it's a worthy creature, alright? Like, I wouldn't just bull honk you guys over- it's a giant, like, ogre owl monster creature. I don't know why it only has such low-level health right now, but I'm assuming that could be easily fixed. Alright, we're gonna teleport back to base right now and get the turtle, because we need to build a cage for this guy. And nothing gathers resources faster than the turtle. 
Plus, it's just dead sexy in every way, shape, and form. Hang on. Wait. You! This is base, and then when I come- when I go to base, I can remote last location. I gotta- I gotta re-remember how to use this crap. What's it fighting? It seems to have a whole little essence around it. Alright, buddy. I love you dearly. Be good while I'm gone! Oh, the Garens don't starve. Where the hell is the school bus? Why is nothing rendering? My game's on crack. I should probably just gather what I need right now, right? There's no reason to wait till we're over there. It's not really showing that we're gathering anything yet, which is kind of what I don't know. The game might be broken. I feel like we are gathering like a one, two, nine, six wood. Okay, yeah, we're very clearly gathering. It just wasn't showing anything at first. Just get as much stone, wood, thatch as you possibly can. This is the easiest way to throw up fences now. Just bring this guy in, he gets everything. All right, well that went by a batrillion times freaking quicker than it usually does. Freaking quicker. Why does that sound so funny in my head? Am I just an idiot? Maybe. If freaking quicker sounds funny in your head, you've been you, you preserved. Oh God damn it! You preserved just all oh, my frick. No, I did it. I did it right. Yes. I, I usually make such ginormous traps. Actually, people get on me in the comment section sometimes for making such ginormous traps. I, I know because a lot of people play like Arc Official and stuff like that. They're used to using the bare minimum amount of resources needed to get stuff done because it's like smarter and saves time and stuff. Santa Maria! But um, I never really got, I don't know, this is like modded, low, I, this is, you know, higher resource pickup and stuff like that. There's no reason your traps don't have to be crazy ass like... Jurassic Park worthy traps around here on artificial I get it You know you got to make your freaking trap the exact size It's gonna be in stuff if you're using extra resources on artificial or any PvP server for the most part You're just a freaking jabroni. This isn't jabroni hours, bro This is fancy man hours and fancy man hours are very freaking importantes I swear to God the bunny up squeezes through this. I haven't actually stood next to one of these in a while Except for the ones like guarding the base entrance, but even then they're so freaking huge. They seem like they would easily weasel out of this Just Really freaking hoping that they can't they usually can't they almost never cannot All right magic school bus you've been freaking amazing. I love the school bus so damn much No more gathering resources like a jabroni. I love that word and I'm gonna continue to say it a bajillion times Not to mention this thing could gather like dust. This is the craziest thing about it. Look how much dust and element We just got off that right there Absolutely astounding. I don't think that thing's gonna attack Magic School Bus. I'm pretty freaking sure we're not in its like. It wouldn't do that at all. We got our hand torch. I freaking love this hand torch. It's so so much. I imagine fingers would burn quite nicely. No, I don't imagine fingers burning at all. FBI, please don't come get me. Look how freaking monstrous that thing is. It's so cool. It's Owlzilla. If I wanted to really clickbait this video, I'd call it Owl Godzilla, but then eventually you guys would hate me. But as far as owls go, this thing is pretty equivalented to Godzilla. Also, is equivalented a word? We've done it. We've breached the beast. Oh god, this is the scary part. This is when your butt cheeks tighten out of fear. Line up, dammit. Where are you going? What the shit is going on here? Is it just running into your food? It's gotta be. That was never supposed to hit anything. I don't know. I see giant tentacles, dude. I see giant insane tentacles. No, it's under them snakes! No freaking way, dude. There's no way the buddy is. No, it's gonna kill it. Oh my god, like it's killing one of those mega snakes. Talk about emphasis. Ah! Keep that shit away from me, bro. Hey, it kind of did a little torpor forest right there. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up perfectly. Come on up. Yes. Come on, sugar! Oh, good damn, the gate just been stopped it right there. That was scary. That was scary stuff. All right, if you guys might remember a couple like series ago, or maybe the last series of me had to deal with one of those mega snakes. That bitch is just terrifying. The fact that he just killed that thing is a pure testament to his greatness. Bunyip rage. You still have 60 seconds left of Bunyip rage. This creature rages out. He's a psychopath. Bunyip rage. I'm gonna start calling it that when I get really pissed when I die in games. This bullshit is just a simple case of bunyip rage. I'm really hoping that my darts. No, wait. He's. Yeah, his health is regenerating fairly decently. I don't think he'll die from darts. Nope, he's just about full health, actually. 
She got how curious this is. I'm like experimenting and learning with the creature as I tame it, as thou must do with wild beasts. As you can see, its health is actually depleting rather fast right now. It's like seven points. It's, it's going down a good amount with every dart. Obviously, it won't be an issue. It'll still tame fine. But its health is like steadily depleting. It's, it's like dying right now. But once you go up to it, I think, and once it triggers onto you, or is it just... I think it's just running away too much. We haven't triggered its bunny up rage just yet. It says it like right on the little sidebar underneath Cryptid Tame. Once Bunny of Rage is initiated, that's when the creature does, it starts repairing a shies and ton more. I'm assuming it also does a buttload more damage, just making it incredulously hard to kill. It's not Bunny of Rage at all right now though. Possibly because of its insanely high torpor right now, it's just trying to book it and survive instinctually. But yeah, when it doesn't have the bunny of rage, becomes somewhat of a whoa, becomes somewhat of a normal creature. Wow, that was batshit insane. So that's, I guess, I never figured out exactly why it was such a freaking crazy strong beast. Cause with 8,000 health, it doesn't seem that crazy. It's cause once it gets its freaking rage, then it becomes indestructible. We've solved it. We've solved the case. All right, goodbye, big fella. Or not goodbye. H hello, big fella. Alright, so here is the beast. I wish it was more lit up outside right now so you guys can see how purdy it is, but it's okay. Tomorrow will come. Now, I do notice it likes, actually, it likes raw prime fish meat just as much as raw mutton. I was about to just go back to base and freaking kill our sheep that we have stored over there for the raw prime mutton. Actually, this already has a helmet, doesn't it? See, I keep a brine trying helmet, but, 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 but you know what I'm trying to say on me so I can freaking breathe underwater whenever we need pee. Thank God, it's like the cleverest thing I've ever done. I'm pretty sure these crazy ass giant mega dolphins, which I incorrectly call them, drop raw prime fish meat, right? Riddle me your secrets. Damn you and your super tight turn ratio. Come on, where's the juices? Where's the stuff? I don't think they actually might. They might just drop, they didn't even drop, what? what? They just dropped regular prime meat. Well, that's confusing. I think we might have to slay the freak yeah, because there's just these dolphins around us. And they seem to just drop the same kind of prime meats. Unless one of you guys, these whales might drop some crazy kind of prime fish meats. What's the hell is though? It's just more. Oh my god, it gets scarier and scarier the more we come down here. Thank god we're on a mega whale. This thing's only level 50. Should we? Get your ass back here, damn it! We need you for science! Really? Shocking the amount of lacking fish meat we're getting down here. Alright, we're getting fish meat, we're not getting any fish prime meat or prime fish meat. I think it's time to go kill our beloved little buddy. Unless, what the hell is this thing? I, I guess I should just. I, I'm not never sent you that dolphin as a drop anything. But what of you, you weird buddy? What do you got hidden inside them cheeks? You're all just a bunch of bastards, is what you are. This is gonna be sad for that one fish. I mean, for that one lamb. You know what? We named him Dumbass, alright? I'm pretty sure everyone always saw this kind of thing coming. He was never gonna have, like, an epic triumphant victory at the end of his day. It was, it was always gonna be... It was always coming back to this. What's going on, little buddy? I feel like this is what sheep are for, typically. I mean, obviously, you could still have them as a lovable little pet. But at the same time, if we ever need to freaking... Get rid of one. Should only need four bullets for this sort of thing. Then we also have him for the put down at any given time. You really wish I bred him so we could just make more of these. You little shit! Oh, how fast they turn on you! Dude can't even damage me. What the hell is going on here? I've never even been attacked by a sheep before. These are very confusing times. We got plenty of raw mutton off him. His contribution to the cause has been so freaking splendiferous. I'm not, you can't let any of them go to waste. He was a good friend of ours. We're good people. We eat all of our friends. None of our friends go to waste. Okay, now you're just being ridiculous. The rest can go to waste. Man, it's darker than a titch's witty out here. That's, that's my G rating way of saying witch's titty. Do you guys like it? It's gonna keep me from being demonetized until I have to further describe the word I mean, in which case it, it undoes all the hard work I've done of saying titch is witty. What's going on, big fella? I guess I always could just pull down a torch and show you guys what it looks like, couldn't I? Oh my god. Those eyes! Those beautiful eyes! 
terrible I is. This is like Green Goblin eyes. I feel like Aunt May just kind of describing how horrible some eyes were that approached me in the middle of the night. What is going on, big fella? Welcome to the club of awesome people. You require a set. This thing is huge. Look at this. Look at the size of this creature. This thing is amazing. Oh my god. This. Oh, oh my god. I finally have one of my own. Jesus. I was, I was wondering when he was going to notice me. Don't let him touch me. I hate these damn things so much. But on the owl. I mean on the turtle. We're indestructible. Alright. Let's just get everyone back to pace. Let's get some saddles going. I hope I, mean, I have like so many memories of crowding creatures up together when we teleport back to base and then it all just getting so floopy when we get there. Man, there's nothing better than waking up early in the freaking morning and seeing the outline of your giant roller coaster epic creations overtaking the country. The world, in fact. Wait till you guys see what's coming next. Oh my god, it's gonna blow your freaking socks off. I'm gonna just be mass collecting so I'm gonna go to jail for exposing hundreds of feet in a matter of seconds. Moment of truth. Da -da -da. Probably put more into health, huh? Make this thing a horia. Oh, that seems really freaking cruel, actually, to put some sort of thing for it to bite down on. Usually those things mess with the, the animals. I guess with some horses it makes sense, but I don't know. It's got a beak. I want a picture of a beaked monster needing one of those. I feel like that would definitely. I don't know, it would cost- how the hell do I get on you? Now we're talking! Oh my god, this thing is a monster! Look how big it is compared to Odegaard! And then it can hustle? Can't jump! When does it stand up on two? I guess just generally when it's standing. This thing is like one of our big- it's our second biggest monster now. Arguably our biggest when it stands next to Magic School Bus. No, the magic school bus is still bigger. That shell, that shell is too freaking tall. Whoa, look at it when it eats. That's terrifying. Sit. Oh my god, it could sit Indian style. Which I think is an offensive term nowadays, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a 90s child. The teachers would always tell us to sit Indian child. It's style. I don't think this thing's gonna repair very quickly until it goes into rage out mode. Oh, oh my god, you ridiculous donkey creature. I think we just need to go slay some stuff though. Level this bad boy up, see what it's capable of. Seems to have some pretty repetitive hits. I mean not repetitive, but like like fast. It hits a lot. Dude, you gotta be able to beat this creature, buddy. This thing is this thing actually packs a wallop. Those dogs are vicious as hell. We're still taking damage, the fight's not even still happening. Okay, 44 levels in one. That is what I like to see right there. It just boosts you up to like 50,000 health really quick. See, the thing's a beefcake. It also clearly worships Raptor Jesus, which is how that whole dino sex thing back there got started, by the way. We were gonna make a really cool shrine to Raptor Jesus, and then it turned into just Raptor pornography. So we kind of abandoned the whole campaign. We're pushing this creature to some freaking limits. It's not meant to, I mean, it's doing good. You're doing good, bud. I wish I was an Anunnaki right now that I could just put some experience potions in this guy, but we're not in Anunnaki. It's a sad, it's a sad freaking world we're in. I do like how this thing can gather though with its claws. I like that a freaking lot. I don't like, however, that it only has 12,000 health. That part scares the, the Mahugan out of me. I should put this away into something safe. We'll probably just leave this creature. We're gonna do what we usually do, where we leave him at base for a bit until um their health just naturally goes back up, and then from there, yeah, cause it's, it's raising. I mean, steadily. I just wish that we could somehow trigger like bunny up rage mode or something, and then yeah, I don't think there's any extra buttons that does anything on this fella. Just makes big old fart noises and eats and slaps people. All right, me and the magic school bus over here are going on a hunt, you see. A big old hunt. I suppose I should just, I've been stockpiling way too much crap into this creature. I have abused it beyond belief. Just spent like five minutes just emptying stuff out of this creature. It's actually freaking insane how much this thing could hold. What else? Oh my god, I didn't even realize we could freaking shoot from the top of its back. Holy crap, talk about like the easiest way to tame seam creatures. Which is very useful because some of these babies are badass. Like this thing, this this dude is well bigger than our freaking thing. He's only level 50 though, so he's a nerd. I, I'm not getting a nerd. This appears to be a bunch of megalodons attacking an octopus, which is just brutal, but that's life, you know? That's not my prerogative. 
As, as the late, great Britney Spears once said, that's not my prerogative. She's not dead. Or that great. Wait, no, she said it's my prerogative. She said the opposite of what I just said. I actually don't give a crap if I mis misquote Britney Spears, all right? She can eat my butt. <laughs> all right, let's move into this elemental zone right now. What's going on, ladies? You guys have... All right. Hallucinate hallucinating hazard. We just need to make sure never to, um... What is your beef, man? We need to make sure not to target the main freaking thing. Because I'm pretty sure the main thing will tostada our nachos. And that shit sounds very upsetting. It's a thing! It's a thing! Everyone run! Hang on, only one of them came out. It doesn't look that bad. I may have over-exaggerated and crapped my pants a little prematurely. That's on me. Last time a million of them came out. I'm not chancing that again. Yeah, just one little corrupt raptor. We could take this guy. We can destroy this tower. It's going down. How are we doing? We're hallucinating, but our health and everything seems not affecting our health in any way, shape, or form. Just our visuals. And honestly, I used to pay a lot of money to hallucinate in high school. To do it free is a little fantastic. We're getting this tower down, baby. I'm hearing a lot of heart beating, which has scared me a bit. I'm assuming it's just because we're in this thing. I like how it says elite tower, not tameable. Because, you know, someone's going to walk up to that and try and tame it. Oh, we've cleared the area! We're in Jesus! I mean, not like the actual guy. Obviously, there's a lot of differences. But we're, we're, we're a savior of the local area, which I think is pretty fancy. These dodos don't seem too happy with the things. We've set you free. Look, now they're just regular dodos. But they still seem to have beef. They're not even corrupt anymore. But they just carry on the past remnants of their old selves. Yeah, they legit still hurt. They're, they're little bastards. Look at all these poops they left all over the place. Alright, there. That's quite the little freaking huge amount of resources right there. Yeah, bitch. I never even got this data log before. What? Oh my god. Look at all this crap we just unlocked. Yeah, boy. I need you guys to comment every bit of hints and tips you can think of down below. Because I'm not going to reach out to freaking DMAC and them for just tell me what to do. I want to learn naturally, but I don't mind hints and tips. Any corruption module vary in Jubilee Boo. It has been brought to my attention I've been spending excessive amounts of time with the radar within the radius of the dust clouds surrounding Tendril Towers. Undesirable physical effects are beginning to manifest upon expedition members. Experimenting with our hazmat suits along with the new fuel cells and relevant corrupt materials. Unsurprisingly, I have managed to create a resistance module. It appears to only have success in resisting the tower it's, er, in the tower its components are made from. Additional combination may be required to facilitate a solution for all towers. That's batshit crazy, buddy. Not as crazy as my water slide, but it's definitely a close second. We got a thousand freaking dust off that bad boy. A genome core module. Ooh, that looks fancy. And then a bunch of these. This looks downright like a core of a mutation tower. This thing does have 10 hours before it expires. I may, it may expire before I figure out what to do with it. It's not going to be a problem because this beefcake of a turtle just destroyed that thing. Pretty sure once the bunyip is healed up, they could just freaking help destroy these things like crazy as well. I don't think Odegaer is able to damage him. Maybe he is. Maybe everything's able to damage him. And I just wasn't looking at his health before. In fact, that kind of has to be it. Look at this little pookie pookie. I'm gonna go whoop its ass. Unless, of course, it's a godly. Nope, level 30. I'm gonna whoop its ass. What are we zooming in on? I don't even have my spyglass equipped. I, I can't see nothing. We're, we're like stuck in some incredible first person right now. This is me when I go into normal. Like, we're literally, we see what the turtle sees. This is what the turtle sees? Were we in the shell? What? 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 What the hell's going on right here? There we go. All right, that was the freakiest thing I've been through right there. Whatever. Not, not the freakiest in any way, but it was definitely floopy. We've reached another storm area. Now, this does concern me a little bit because I don't know what storm area it is. Or I don't really know what any of them do, in fact. I was kind of scared that... Alright, this was just hallucinating also. It can't be that bad, right? I don't mean to brag, but I have a pretty high tolerance for hallucinogens. It's actually why I can't make words anymore in my 20s. We just got freaking, um... We just got some blue gem, which is something you guys were telling me to try and feed our freaking buddies. I mean, our Dodo Gamba. That was like the only other name, or the only other food suggestion I saw in the world that we haven't tried yet. 
was trying giving it blue gems or something like that. We've tried everything in the world. If the blue gems don't work, the creature is in fact broken right now, which is, a, I mean, eventually something's going to be broken. They can't all be perfect. I, I think only like three people in the world even use the mod, so obviously that'd be silly if it was like perfect for just us three. And we don't even give the guy money. So any bit that it actually is done with those monsters is just splendiferous. It's up there. All right, I'm a little, a little spooked. Shadowfall. I, 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 I'm like 50% sure this is the one I attacked when we lost our creature, our Purosaurus. I'm pretty fairly certain this is the one, right? This is the one that it's 120,000 health. I think. I got, um, I'm just gonna resist right now. I gotta start using my brains a little more until we freaking understand exactly what all these creatures are. I need you guys, anyone who down below who knows, can you guys comment like the tier difficulty of each of the corruption things? Because we shouldn't be fighting max tier difficulty corruption things until we at least know and are like sturdy and ready for such a thing. I mean, we're definitely ready, but the thing is, this creature only has 100,000 health. Coincidentally, as much as our last creature had when we thought we were gonna destroy it, and then we're obliviated. Obliver- obliviated. Obliverated? Ob- obliviated. Oh my god, I'm forgetting words. I think the buddy kinda has to be like our wise elder. Yeah! You wouldn't have a stupid elder, they wouldn't make it to elder stage in these days back then. He's gotta be like our wise- the wisdom one! My god, these- these theme park rides are so endlessly distracting. All right, I'm gonna try and figure out what all this hullabaloo does. Again, any hints or suggestions, comments down below, any information, any way, shape, or form, I'll freaking love you guys ever, because you'll save me a bunch of time. We did unlock hazmat suit, which is pretty fantastic. So now we're able to go in those zones, hopefully, without dying, at least as soon as we craft it. I still, I think we're supposed to use that thing we just found into this, the genome synthesizing station. I, I haven't really looked at this stuff in a couple days, admittedly, ever since I got the taste for building my own theme park, but don't worry, there's time for everything. Genesis is still like a month away. So yeah, if you guys have any hints, comment them down below, otherwise leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!